Well, th these people are, are, are trained um, and, uh, and dedicated to monitoring the system 24-7. Um, these people monitor every specific uh, piece along the pipeline. Um, as you can see probably on some of the, the charts behind me, there's, there, there, there's nodes um, um, that, are, that are monitored uh, on these screens. Um, if something occurs along the pipeline, um, there's red flags that go up. Um, they investigate those, those situations and they have the ability, um, as I said, to react very quickly to any situation that, that occurs along the system. And it gives us, this is the sort of the start place for, for emergency responses, is incidents do happen along, along pipelines. That is a, that's a fact. Um, but we can find about it, about it instantaneously, and these people have the access to um, those emergency responders on the ground um, that can react to, to a situation anywhere along our pipeline system. Those incidents um, that have occurred um, they shake public confidence quite substantially, um, as they should. I mean, those incidents are, are horrific and, and they shouldn't occur. Um, we as an industry have to understand why they occurred and uh, go back and, and analyze what in our systems we need to change to make sure that those kinds of incidents don't occur, occur in the future. What we agreed to with the Department of Pipeline Safety post Macondo and post you know, things like the Kalamazoo incident um, uh, resulted in a conversation between us and uh, the Department of, of Pipeline Safety in the United States, um, which led to the, the implementation of, of 57 new conditions. Um, 57 conditions we agreed to um, that will make Keystone Pipeline safer than any pipeline that's ever been built before. As I said, we try to learn from um, uh, the incidents that have occurred. We want to work with the regulators, uh, we want to work with the public to understand how we can make it better and uh, I think evidenced by that um, we're willing to make those changes wherever and however we can to ensure um, that our pipelines are as safe as they can possibly be. I, I think you can't compare you know, what we're talking about at Keystone um, you know, to, to a lot of the pipelines that exist in the marketplace today. The technology that we're going to employ on Keystone is, is so far advanced from what we were using 20, much less 30, 40, 50 years ago. Um, uh, the most advanced communication technology, uh, remote sensing technology with 16,000 sensors on, on the Keystone pipeline uh, that refresh information every five seconds. We know what's going on on that pipeline all the time. If there's a, a change in pressure along that pipeline, we have automatic shutoff valves that will, will isolate the, you know, the, those sections of the pipeline um, and depressure it and make sure that, uh, uh, that we bring the pipeline down safely. We go out and we check it, make sure that, that everything's okay, and, and we don't bring the pipeline back up until it's, uh, it's safe to do so. Uh, what we know is that pipelines are the safest mode of transporting uh, both gaseous and liquid hydrocarbons uh, across this continent. There's about two and a half million miles of, of pipeline in the ground. Um, it's orders of magnitude safer than, than shipping by barge, orders of magnitude safer than shipping by rail or, or, or by truck. Um, what I can say is as a company um, is that we're committed to making sure that our pipelines are as safe as they possibly can be and we'll continually try to improve to make them better and better every day. Obviously there's those that are fundamentally opposed to, to what we do and uh, um, I find that uh, uh, they continually raise issues that, that, that aren't based in fact um, in order to persuade the public or, or frighten the public that, uh, that, that what we're doing isn't safe. So you know, that the comment around the shipping product that, that, that um, is somehow corrosive um, or detrimental to our pipelines or to downstream facilities, um, that makes no sense at all. I mean, is, is our job is to, uh, is to deliver the product safely every day. We spend billions and billions of dollars on this infrastructure. It would make no sense for us to put into it a, a product that's going to corrode the pipeline and result in a leak. We're in the business of delivering energy from source to, to, to consumption and it wouldn't make any sense for us to want to put something into our, our system um, that, that causes a damage which puts us out of business. Um, that's ludicrous, it doesn't make any sense.